It's kind of interesting because every sporting stadium in the country plays his music. We play it every day three times on the radio show, and it's hard for me. I look at him as almost like a tragic figure because he is the athlete who didn't maximize his talents, who didn't get enough titles, who should have been one of the greatest of all time, and he's an afterthought that burned out like 15 years ago. I can't stand it. You know why that is? Because he activated the Malamars. <laughs> yes, yes, he did. Yeah, here's why I disagree with you. I mean, he's not, this guy's not a body's temple guy. The reason we love rock stars is because of the acts or the excess. We do. This is what they do. He they went way too like much athletes. I look at him, if you look at Axel right now on YouTube, back from 89, 88, the hairs on the back of your neck will stand up. He's, he's a guy who has unbelievable talent, like a like a T.O., all right? T.O. was the best after-the-catch receiver I've ever seen. He was on six teams because he would talk his way out of it. He couldn't stay with the team. He couldn't be played with. So maybe Axel traded the horse for marshmallows. <laughs> maybe. Now we're on the marshmallow. You know who ate a lot of marshmallows? Who's Another that? guy I'm comparing him to, Derek Coleman. I know you love D.C. D.C. could have been, maybe should have been the greatest power forward ever. He should have been Carl Malone like Axel should have been Mick Jagger. Neither one of them happened. And lastly, A-Rod. Axel's A-Rod, maybe the best, most talented right-handed hitter ever, and he was just too much of a tool that he's completely disgraced himself. Until he's shown in a magazine making out with himself, he's not A-Rod. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Axel. Try to lay off the cake tonight, buddy. Number two, the Farmer's Insurance Open, Jim. Goes